Hello brothers and sisters, it's Paul here again, and I'm here to share another dream I had today, this morning, on April 24th, 2023. <clears throat> I'd like to thank God again for giving me another dream, and I actually had more than one last night, most of the night I was having dreams, but the Holy Spirit chose one of them, it was the first one I had of the night that I need to share. So I'll do my best to remember how I remember it. I didn't actually write it down this morning because when I'm actually having the dream, sometimes I don't take it for being from God. But throughout the day, God keeps it on my mind and then shows me a lot of triple threes to be a watchman. And then finally I see my confirmation car, so I know it's for sure to share. So here we are, and here we go. I was on a journey and I was witnessing in this dream or in spirit and I was going to what seemed like a long road over a long bridge to get to what seemed like an island. When I arrived at this island, I began to see incredible things of the world but they were all together. And what I mean by that is I saw like all the seven wonders of the world, but they were all stacked together beside each other like they were in a storage shed. And then I looked over to my right and I saw many, many, many cathedrals and mosques and all types of worship um, buildings from all different religions, all put together again like they were in a storage unit. And they were all side by side. And I began to realize as what I was seeing. And there was other sections full of, and I don't know why they were 1950 bikes. But that was a big deal for some people in their younger years, you know. And I saw many, many different things that people worship in their life. I saw many cars. I saw all types of just anything you could think of that you would worship throughout your life. And they were all in the biggest storage units you can imagine. And if you remember the finishing part of the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark, when they were hiding the Ark of the Covenant in a crate in a warehouse full of boxes, that's what I was noticing. So then I heard voices and I looked around me. And I began to see many people of my life that were walking into these places and they were so excited. They were finding the treasures that they treasured growing up. And I, I unfortunately saw a couple of family members. I saw my brother's first wife and they, they managed to split up and they've since gone on to remarry other people. But there she was walking in this storage, this massive warehouse. It was so big I couldn't see the top of it. And it was so wide I couldn't see the sides. But she was walking in a wedding dress. And I saw another woman of my family walking in a wedding dress. And these are people that are not walking with God. And I, I hate to say that. But I saw many, many other men and women that I knew as children. And they were now adults. And they were happy going to find these treasures. And while I was watching this, I felt the greatest sadness because I knew that these people were hanging on to their treasures. And I also realized that the reason they were in these storage buildings that, like I said, were so big and so high and so wide, I couldn't see the top or the sides. These were things that were being put away because they were useless and they were no good in the eyes of God. So that's how the dream ended. And I woke up at that point and I actually had the interpretation at that exact time. Um, I'll look up the scripture, the one that says, do not... Uh, keep mothballs and things that can rust. I don't know it off the top of my head, but I'll put it up. My brothers and sisters, this was put on my heart to share with you because the time is coming 
then none of those things are going to matter. Put your eyes and your ears and your mind, your body and your soul and face Jesus. He's the only way to God. Let go of everything because none of these things matter anymore. These are the things I was shown and told to share with you by the Holy Spirit. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.